What's up guys, I'm Fernape here, and welcome back to my daily upload, where I tell you my top 10 favourite Pokemon of every single type, without doing duplicates. Yesterday we went over the top 10 favourite normal types, and today, we're going to be going over my top 10 favourite fire type Pokemon. Fire types are my favourite Pokemon type of all time. I just think that fire types usually are the best Pokemon. Like, they have the best design, the best power, the best deck story. They just are the best in general to me. So, it was tough trying to find the top 10. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you're enjoying in this little series that I'm doing, what your favourite fire type Pokemon is, and if any video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video! At number 10, we have Ninetales. Now, I have used Ninetales a couple times when I was younger, when I was playing through Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But I don't really use it that often anymore, mainly because when I play a Pokemon game, there's usually a better fire type option than Ninetales, and I usually go with that. Probably either the starter, or maybe just a better uh, fire type Pokemon that you can find in the wild. So I rarely use Ninetales anymore, but I do enjoy using a Ninetales like when I was younger. It was really fun to use. I really like Ninetales design. I mean, I do know that it's kind of basic, basically get a fox and put nine tails on it, but simplicity sometimes can be the best. Plus, I really like Ikit's uh, dex entry where it says it can live for a thousand years. Plus, it also reminds me of Kurama from um, Naruto, and as you know, Naruto is my favourite anime of all time. So, nine tails will always have a special place in my heart, all because of those reasons. I just feel like Ninetales is a really great Pokemon. At number 9, we have Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh was the mascot legendary for my first ever Pokemon game, Pokemon Heart Gold. And I always really wanted to catch it. And thankfully, I managed to do so near the end of, well, one of my several attempts to play um, Heart Gold, because when I was younger, I got super frustrated that I didn't get past one specific part of the game that I eventually just restarted it and did it all over again, even though I could have just looked up how to get to another point, but I didn't know that as a child, so yeah. But despite all that, Ho-Oh is a really, really cool Pokemon. But I really like its design, I really like how it appears in quite a lot of times in the anime, how often it's mentioned in the anime. I also really like it when in the um, I Choose You movie, like even though it only appeared for a very brief moment, but it was badass nonetheless. And I also really love its shiny design. It's gold and silver. From the games, gold and silver. But I just think that that is beautiful. I just really, really love Ho-Oh. At number eight, we have Cinderace. I love Cinderace. It is the only starter from Gen 8 I will use. I don't mind the designs for the other two. I'm, I'm just not really as into them as I am to Cinderace. Cinderace to me is just a great Pokemon. It's based off of one of uh, the UK's most popular sports, football, or as the Americans would call it, soccer. And I also really like the fact that I use it in quite a lot of my playthroughs, if not all of my playthroughs. <laughs> um, my, my first ever Cinderace was actually called Rooney, named after the famous football player, Wayne Rooney. And I really enjoyed using him, and I still actually have him to this day. It is definitely one of my favourite Fire-type Pokemon by far. At number 7, we have Arcanine. Now, I have a similar experience with Ninetales, with Arcanine. I used it a few times, but then didn't. But when I got back into it was actually when I did Pokemon Black and White 2. Arcanine is definitely the best fire type option in black and white too. 
because every time I used an Arcanine, it ripped people to shreds. I adore Arcanine. Its design is amazing. It's OP in pretty much any playthrough you put it in. I love how uh, many different types of moves it can learn. And I also really love the fact that, uh, well, it's background. It was supposed to be a legendary Pokemon at first, but they decided not to. And I honestly think they would have been better if it was a legendary Pokemon. Even though it doesn't exactly have the best stats to be a legendary Pokemon. But I think it would have been cool if it was. At number 6, we have Incineroar. I love Incineroar. Just like I can Cinderace, it's the only Pokemon I will use in its respected gen. I do prefer Decidueye's design, but it's hopelessly weak, so I can't pick it. And Primarina, I f***ing hate it. So, yeah, Incineroar's it. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, because I am in love with Incineroar. I really do like Incineroar, like, its uh, signature Z move is amazing, like, Malicious Moontal is so badass. Plus, I also really like the uh, few battles that part it participates in the anime, even though we don't really talk about the Sun and Moon anime because it was absolute horse shit. Um, and I also really like using it in quite a few different playthroughs as well, like, I only use Incineroar when it comes to Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, and I always enjoy using Incineroar. It is by far the best starter in Alola. At number 5, we have Typhlosion. Cyndaquil was actually the very first Pokemon I ever called my own, and I enjoyed using it every single day of the week. I literally wanted to be a Pokemon trainer as a child, and when I first got my first Pokemon game, I chose Cyndaquil, because I loved the design of Typhlosion, because I actually had one of these DVDs, where they actually showed Pokemon Chronicles, I think it was called, and one of the episodes in it was uh, this Pokemon called Typhlosion, and I really loved its design, and I really wanted one. So when I saw that Cyndaquil was an option, I assumed that it could evolve into Typhlosion because it looks somewhat similar to Typhlosion. So I picked it, and I enjoyed using it for my very first playthrough of Heart Gold. I do not use Typhlosion as much as I did when I was younger, mainly because, well, I play more of the newer Pokemon games and the Johto starters aren't in those. Apart from Pokemon Sun and Moon, but I don't really play Sun and Moon anymore because I prefer Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But, anyway, I loved using Typhlosion in the games I used him in. Like, I still play Heart Gold and Soul Silver every now and again, and the only starter that I will pick is Cyndaquil because I adore Typhlosion. At number four, we have Primal Groudon. Now, since Demon didn't specify that I could use different forms like Mega Evolutions or Primal Reversions, I'm including Primal Groudon, because I love Primal Groudon. I actually, well, the first uh, some game that I got out of Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was Omega Ruby, and it was mainly because I loved the design for Groudon. Like, Primal Groudon looked so badass. Plus, it became a fire type, so... That's an added bonus, because I honestly think it should have been a fire type from the start. I adore Primal Groudon. Its design is amazing, its power is amazing, it's just an amazing Pokemon. I did use it partially when I was doing my first ever playthrough of Omega Ruby, and I loved using it. Like, it was by far one of the best Pokemon I have ever owned, and I will always love Primal Groudon. At number three, we have Blaziken. I love Blaziken. Like, I really wanted to own one ever since I saw May's Blaziken when I watched um, Diamond and Pearl for the first time. I really wanted to own a Blaziken, but I didn't know how. 
Then when I was a younger, I actually got um, these knockoff copies of um, Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. And I picked Blaziken the first time I ever picked, uh, well, the first time I ever played one of those games. And I loved using it. Then when X and Y rolled around, I wanted to get the Mega uh, Blaziken Event Torchic so badly. But unfortunately, my Wi-Fi was uh, buggering up at the time and I couldn't get it in time. And I full on ugly cried about it. I am not even joking. Then when um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire rolled around, I kept my fingers crossed that Mega Revolution made it back because at the time, I didn't watch the trailers because I didn't want any spoilers for some reason or another. And I kept my fingers crossed that they put in Mega Evolution. And they did. And I also kept my fingers crossed that Mega Blaziken would be an option. And it was. So I got to use Mega Blaziken and I loved using it. And I even remember at one point I actually um, bred a Torchic. Gave it the Blazikinite and then transferred it into X and Y just so that I could uh, use a Mega Blaziken in my playthrough. I did not regret it because I enjoyed using it. At number two, we have Charizard. Now, I was debating to myself which position Charizard would be in. I didn't know if it was going to be with at number three and Blaziken at two or Charizard at 2 and Blaziken at 3, but I decided to put Charizard at 2 mainly because I have used Charizard more than I have Blaziken, so I've developed more of an attachment to Charizard than I have Blaziken. I love Charizard. Like, I have used it in several different playthroughs. I've used it in Fire Red and Leaf Green, I used it in the post-game of Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and I even use it every single time that I play X and Y. Not only that, one of the very first competitively bred Pokemon that I ever made was actually a Mega Charizard. I used it in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I believe. And it was by far one of my best Pokemon. Like, I adored using it. I used it quite a few times in the battle tree and it wrecked loads of people. So I love the fact that I can always count on Charizard where it matters most. If you haven't been around my channel for very long, or if you haven't noticed my a YouTube channel name, then this one isn't going to surprise you. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's kind of obvious what my favourite fire type Pokemon is. Well. Regardless, my number one favorite fire type Pokemon and my favorite Pokemon of all time is Infernape. My favorite at generation games was definitely Gen 4. So that would mean Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. And when I first played Pokemon Pearl, I actually picked Turtwig and my rival got Chinchar. And once I actually got to the Pokemon League and battled my rival, it one-shotted my entire team with Infernape. I managed to beat him, but I could not believe that Infernape was that powerful. Then I went to the Elite Four, battled Flint, and his Infernape one-shotted all of my Pokemon. And after seeing how powerful Infernape was, I wanted one. So I restarted the game, picked up Chimchar, and did the whole game again. And I loved it more than I did with Turtwig. I just cannot play any a Sinnoh game without using Infernape. Infernape to me is just the best Pokemon of all time. It is great in every aspect. It's good and competitive. It's got a great design, a good backstory. It's a badass martial artist. And it's just an amazing Pokemon to use in any playthrough. And as I'm sure you were able to tell by my video where I go through my team that I'm planning to use for the remakes, the Pokemon that I am picking is Infernape. Because it is by far my favourite Pokemon of all time and always will be. 
And there it guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, what is your favourite fire type of all time, if some of my I, um, fav favourite fire types match your own, and if you need video suggestions for the future, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. This series is a daily thing, so tomorrow I'm going to be talking about my favourite water type Pokemon. So be sure to let me know in the comments what your favourite water type Pokemon is, and see if you can predict what my favourite water type Pokemon is going to be. Did you enjoy the video as much as I did making it? If you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all from me, so until the next time, this is Inferno, signing off. Bye!